Welcome to Tampa, Florida. Be on point, kid. This is a scary looking neighborhood. This is what's hidden in the woods in Florida. All right, everybody. So we're gonna enter a homeless camp in Tampa. Now, I've been warned that this is a lot of meth back here. So this camp is gonna be super dangerous. And it's extraordinarily large. Basically, people are lookouts that will prevent me from going in because this is going to be one of the largest homeless camps in Tampa. Fairly dangerous area. You can see somebody just lays up right here in the front. And this is going to be a dangerous, dangerous journey today. If the neighborhood looks dangerous, imagine what the homeless camps are going to be like. So, Alcones, probably lookouts, people that are going to try to prevent us from going in. You can see they have old boats here. Somewhat of a toilet situation here. I strategically do this during the heat of the day. Here in Florida, it doesn't normally get this hot. This is a very long trail back into here. It's gonna be a long, long trail. And this is, I believe, the largest homeless camp in Tampa. I don't know if law enforcement came through and ran people out, but here we are. You can see up front, there's a few camps here and there, there are people. We're just gonna keep it moving. There's dogs, that's very dangerous. I've gotten bit by dogs. You can see this. What's All right. So we got some, a few dogs. You can see that there's maybe five or six camps here. Very large camps. They do have dogs. As you guys know, I've already been bitten by a dog at a homeless camp, so real life. We're gonna skip on this first camp. Um, we're gonna get as far in as possible and then work our way back, but you can see um, that they wave me through, so we're good. Usually the people up front are gonna be like Alcones, you know, lookouts, and they're not gonna let you go any further in, but we got past that. This will be the largest homeless encampment in Tampa, so it's gonna be absolutely huge, you know. Um, you can see the amount of uh, homeless camps here. It's just wild. Right here, they're burying garbage. We're gonna move through here very quickly um, because the size of these camps, uh, the amount of people that are here, we don't want to want to seem like we're doing something like we're going somewhere we don't want to seem uh there's a lake right here trail going that way and there's like a dock here they built oh we'll be trapped got hit pretty hard there with the vine let's see looking maybe i should see if this guy will help me get further in a lot of these camps are getting demolished and cleaned up. So you can see here, huge camps in all directions, but they've been doing a scrap metal wires. We're gonna move through here as uh, as fast as we possibly can. Um, we're not gonna slow down for anything. It's too large of a camp and there's possibly hundreds of camps back here. So it's fairly pointless for us to slow down and soak in anything. We just gotta keep it moving. Okay, so right here, these are fresh trees that were dropped blocking this trail, but the trail's open. So I think that would suggest that there's something that's being hidden back here. Um, we got water on both sides. This is not based on alligator could be anywhere. There's gonna be alligators all through here and everything. This is a swamp back here. Dude, we're gonna get up out of here. Um, I think we're gonna keep, we're gonna go back out the way we came. There are ways to communicate this homeless camp to about another 50 other camps. The problem is that it's gotten too impassable. Guys, we are literally inside a swamp in Tampa. The largest homeless encampments in Tampa are right here. But endemically, the problem with these spots is that there's a lot of people that are uh, what we call mapped out. And they're going to be super worried. Looks like uh, the cops might have came through and raided this spot. Because there's a lot of torn up tents and stuff like that. So hot. So humid. Unbearable. Camps everywhere. Alright, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming through. I'm coming out. I got gotcha. you. 
I'm good, I'm good, bro. Let me just, let me check in. I got gotcha. you. I'm, I'm coming out, I'm coming out. I was trying to get to the other side of the trail, but it's not. I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. I'm trying to get to the dirt trail. I'll go through the other way. My bad, my bad. I'll get out. I'm trying to get to the, to the sandy part where the truck trails are. My bad, my bad. Totally. This is... This is gonna get scared. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. My bad, my bad, y'all. Dogs are coming over here. How the hell do we get out here? We need to get up out here ASAP. Man, that was sketchy. So basically, they told us, hey, you need to get the crap up out of here. We ain't playing that. Strong chemical smell. We need to get up out of here. They literally told us, hey, I don't know what the crap you're doing back here, but you need to get up out of here. It's like a threat, really. So Which is interesting here. because they don't own this land. There's just, uh, they're basically, uh, look, they just pooped right there. That's crazy. They're just, uh, they're squatting this land. They don't own it. But then they're threatening you to get out. Like if they owned it, you know? There's still a chance they could try to follow us out. So we need to leave like ASAP. I mean, we really. Need to find our way up out of here, but there's more. Look, if you look that way, there's more than that way. Let's get up out of here, though. We need to leave like ASAP. ASAP. Screaming at me to get out, okay. or something was gonna happen to me. Okay. Not cool. And there's more camps here. And oh, yeah, there's a huge camp over here. You can see the entrance right there. Camps there. Camps there, but let's keep it moving. super crazy this might be too big to enter without knowing people they got dogs and stuff this is going to be dangerous this is going to be crazy again and speed up faster all right guys so here we are entering yet another massive homeless camp here in tampa Ooh, look at all these flies Ooh. give an idea of how dangerous these sites are not even the cops come back here. Yeah. So there's camps all back here. All right. The amount of garbage here is insane. There's gotta be homeless camps back here. In fact, I know there. I just can't find the way in. Oof, boy, we are. Deep inside of this crap. You can see there's a homeless camp on Google Maps. Crap. So hot and humid. We need to leave. This neighborhood is so rough. Even the native. Yeah. Alright, cool. Because the truck is following us for a little bit. Katie driving through these places. Go. Open up this way. You're too far that way. To the right. Okay. Now you're straight. Go straight. Stay as close to the left as possible. All right, guys. We're going to enter a crazy spot here with the truck. It's all sugar sand. All right, guys. So we continue on our journey of finding homeless camps in the Tampa area. Oh crap, we're right on one right now. Oh crap. Hello? Got a toilet right there. Hello, anybody here? Oh, this might be abandoned. 
All right, guys, so literally this camp, we were parked right there. I had to tell Katie to move the car further ahead because I didn't realize how close she was to this camp, but literally 10 feet from a homeless camp, Honda were hanging up on a tree. This is crazy. Look at the garbage here. Lots of liquid. I'm gonna guess all that liquid is gonna be body waste. So this is like a toilet right here. All these bottles right there are human waste. There's a huge camp right here. Dang, it's so hot. You can see they got bandanas. They're using the bandanas to wipe. So we're literally in somebody's homeless bathroom here. You can see all the bottles full of uh, human waste. They're using human bo uh, water, they're using uh, milk jugs for human this is waste. what the state of Florida has come down to. Look at this, guys. This is what the state of Florida has come to. Obviously, the smell is completely unbearable here and the amount of garbage. The thing is that there's offices right to the left. In fact, if you look through the trees, you can just make out my red truck over there. But I had her parked right there. I had her parked right there. Right there, she was parked 10 feet away from this. What's crazy about this homeless camp is literally, we were parked 10 feet away from this and we didn't know it. And this is the reality of homelessness in Florida. Like, you drive by the woods, by a place in Tampa, you might just see woods, right? You drive by and all you see is woods. Even I am purposely looking for homeless camps parked right here. And even I wasn't aware that 10 feet from where I parked my truck, where I got out was this. I mean, literally our truck is parked right there. And this is the reality of homelessness in Florida. Here we are in Tampa. Look at this, we're in Tampa. And the crazy part is there's business centers right across the street. And these people that work there, hundreds of people work right there. In these offices right there hundreds of people work there and the last thing that they would imagine is that 10 feet away from their parking lot is another world you can see they buried something right there 10 feet away from their uh, from their office you know you see a, a ball if you work in the tampa area this could be your workplace think about this guys you're working and 10 feet away from where you park your car. You can't even see this because it's tree cover. 10 feet away from where you park your car at work in Tampa is this. And you don't even see it. You didn't even know it existed. You're 10 feet away from this. And you don't even know that this exists right behind your workplace. You might smell it, but you don't recognize the smell. You might think it's a small trees, but it's not. It's the smell of these. Look at this, guys. This might look like something out of Fresno, California, but it's not. We haven't even begun to find what we're looking for, which is in these woods here, this wooded area in the middle, there's a massive homeless camp. You can tell it's just by the amount of footprints and bike prints there's people living back here you can just see it now back in here our homeless camps that have been back here for decades this has been a homeless encampment forever in tampa so there are trails in all direction guys see a camp over there very large it's maybe 14 feet off the ground what i don't want to do is i don't want to ruin my i want to go in as far as i can and then walk work my way back go in unnoticed and then find my way back because if I were to start in the front of the camp getting notoriety then I wouldn't be able to make it to the end so we're gonna this could be a park this could be a a beautiful park for somebody it's going up so guys thermostat's pushing 110 and I'm I'm wearing very heavy clothing in case somebody were trying to stab me or mosquitoes or dog bites or anything I'm, I'm geared up pretty heavy and i tell you wow i mean to walk through these woods and this heat wearing all this clothing now i can't help but think if uh if this spot wasn't friendly if it's just a hostile camp we're going into exactly what the crap i would do because this is literally over a mile away There's a really old pipe. You can see they use a straw. 
you can see how they burnt the end off so that black powder on that at the end is going to be some type of illegal substance that they were burning so that's what's going on back here somebody was just sleeping back here with a tarp and a foam mat starting to find homeless camps but what i find crazy is how far away these homeless camps are from a trail and to give you an idea how old this homeless camp is i've noticed low quat plants lemon plants orange plants pineapples every time you go in these homeless camps you hear stories about the horrors that happen in these places from the people that live here people are all messed out man they do crazy things now deep into these woods there should be some very very old abandoned camps we should be on to some pretty wild homeless camps if we can find the original trails after trekking to the woods for about an hour i'm finally starting to see some signs of homeless camps from the past these camps are far we are getting close oh ah, we trap ah, oh, oh. Dang it, right in the middle of the trail. Oh. Uh, they dug a hole. Look, right in the middle of the trail for your foot to fall in. Oh. Look, I got booby trapped. Oh. Oh. These homeless camps are dangerous, I'm telling you. Look, it's just, they put the sand, they put, look, here's how they do it. Look, there it is, you won't see it. There it is, right there. They booby trap the trail, you, there they go hole, right there. You slide your foot in, look how far you my foot, look at that, to my knee, guys. All the way to your knee. I'm not even gonna tell Katie anything because I don't want her to worry about me. Here's an old shoe right here. Shoe's been back here so long it's got mold growing on it. Look at that. Guys, that may be the first of many booby traps that we're going to encounter on today's trail. These homeless camps are booby trapped. And there's a shoe there. And the shoe, as we've talked about, is uh, street vernacular for do not enter. I think what I'm going to do, I'm back to Interstate 4, is call Katie. If I can get, if I can jump the fence back into the interstate and have Katie come meet me by the interstate. Because I don't think I'm going to be able with this limping foot now to get back. I still got the marks right there. I still got the marks from when I got bit by the dog. All right, guys, so this is the abandoned camp in the middle of nowhere. Now... I am about two miles from where I started today's journey and getting to this camp took a lot of traveling. I could find it through Google Earth. It definitely looks abandoned, but there might be other homeless people coming in through here. So, and again, we're off the MLK exit in Tampa. So this is a very dangerous area to begin with. This might actually be a lab. This might be a laboratory, guys. We might've actually found a lab. There's chemicals here, all types of chemicals. This is likely okay, so a lab. What we have discovered here is a meth lab. The smell is absolutely abhorrent. Uh, you can see there's chemicals, there's bricks, there's cooking pots everywhere. The smell of chemical is absolutely abhorrent. Um, I do think this is a tent. Hello, somebody here? You can see there's uh, Ziploc bags. Uh, all types of sprays and this spot is borderline barricaded. I mean, look, they've literally created a barricade around the entrance. <sighs> There's a strong chemical smell here. It's a military uniform here. They got bricks all the way around it. Water bottles, lots of water here, guys. It's definitely a weapon right there. So this is the old abandoned camp that I saw on Google Maps, which is miles into the woods. But you can see somebody else came and built another one right next to it that's newer. I don't know what is in here, 
Looks like this camp has just been, uh, well, just really big tent actually. Take a look inside of this crap, you know what I mean? Crazy. This is some serious crap, guys. We're deep in the woods. We're deep in the woods here. In fact, I'm so far into this place that I've had Katie try to drive to another spot. It's gonna take her like a nice. I'm gonna warn you, what you are about to see is absolutely the most graphic thing I've ever shown on my channel. This here is the toilet. You can see there's toilet paper. There's something black right underneath there. And basically this is an open toilet. This is the toilet. So guys, we're talking about a homeless camp that's been abandoned, but there's provisions here to where if somebody were to land back here, you know, they would have a middle ground. Now there's horse flies because of the human waste. There's horse flies, but uh, the smell of human waste is unbearable. Now the human waste also attract horse flies that bite you relentlessly, so This is a homeless camp deep in the woods in Tampa, Florida off the MLK exit. We need to leave now immediately. This area has a reputation for being a meth area. The horse flies are unbearable horse flies. This is what's hidden in the woods in Florida. Okay. Now, we have to find my wife back by the interstate. She had to drive clear across Tampa to get me back out of here. Look at that. Got a Ben and Billy.